haven't seen you since last year. <laughs> Get it? Last year because now it's 2017 and it was 2016 before, right? right okay, cue the intro. It's gonna be all right. We don't even have to try. It's always a good time. It's always a good time. Oh, dog. Happy New Year, everybody. <laughs> Yo, what is up there guys, Ed the Wiz back at it again for another video, and at last, it is finally 2017. I am so over 2016, thank god, you know, 2016 was an okay year for me, you know, a lot of bad things happened though as well, all these famous people died, Trump won, uh, my, oh my god, Disney Infinity got cancelled, rest in peace. <laughs> But 2017, time for a clean slate, everything brand new, and there's so many things to be hyped about this year. That's what I thought I'd talk about today in this video, all the list of things that I am excited for for 2017. So what do you say? Let's get this video started. Come on, pal. Let's go. <laughs> okay, so let's start off. All right. Oh, my God. Like I said, we got a ton of things to be excited for for 2017. So why don't we start off with movies? This year, 2017, there's going to be a ton of movies to geek out about and fanboy about. I'm just going to listen to list of some of them that I'm really excited for. So let's see, we got, I, got, I have to have my phone over here because there's a lot of things. We got Logan, which is gonna be uh, the last uh, Wolverine movie that Hugh Jackman is gonna be acting in. I highly doubt it. I'm pretty sure that dude's gonna come back. Let's see, we've got the new Power Rangers movie coming out. Mm, you know, we'll see how that does. Wonder Woman, come on DC. I'm hoping, I want you to do good. Don't disappoint me. So I'm hoping Wonder Woman does good. Spider-Man Homecoming. I'm just saying, this better be the last reboot. I don't wanna see any more reboots after this you're gonna stick with this stick with it and keep going with it i'm really excited to see spider-man homecoming uh that's one of my most anticipated movies definitely the new planet of the apes movie is coming out it looks pretty darn good thor ragnarok i'm still waiting for my trailer marvel disney come on where's that at uh the new transformers movie i know i know i know michael bay made the movies you actually like that blah 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 this and that i will say i like the action and the, the scenery and everything i will say that that's that i like that so i'm like, looking forward to it uh let's see justice league okay dc that is your time to shine to prove everybody wrong you know make it happen do a good job i want you to be successful dc i'm 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 rooting for you okay so just don't don't screw up is all i'm saying uh the live action beauty and the beast movie okay i'm really looking forward to that one a lot uh definitely i'm most hyped about that i've seen some of the, the trailers and everything like that and it looks pretty darn good so i can't wait to see how well that turns out what else we got here we got guardians of the galaxy 2 that's also coming out um any other movies that i can think of uh, oh yeah, the Lego Batman movie's coming out. That looks like it's gonna be pretty darn hilarious. I'm actually really looking forward to that. And we're also getting the Lego Ninjago movie. That's probably one that I'm even more hyped about because I'm a huge Ninjago fan. Uh, I'm, not, I'm not too crazy about the cast choice, in, in case you didn't hear. Uh, the people that play the voices in the cartoon or whatever are not reprising their roles for the movies. Completely new cast, everything like that. I hope it does well. I'm really excited to see uh, how well it turns out. So the Lego Ninjago movie. Boom, that's pretty much it for movies. There's a ton of other movies coming out as well, but those are the ones that I'm most hyped about for 2017. Next up we got over here, what else we got? We got video games, we got, we got to talk about video games, my boy. The Nintendo Switch, we're getting that live presentation, I believe January 11th or 12th, so it's coming up pretty darn soon. And the Nintendo Switch, I gotta say, I'm honestly pretty darn excited for the actual hybrid console, you know. The, 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 the Switch is what the Wii U should have been, so I feel kind of stupid for buying I'm a Wii U, but I only really bought the Wii U for Super Smash Brothers, like most people do. But the Nintendo Switch, I'm really looking forward to that, seeing how it's gonna play out, get more information on it, and you know, hopefully, you know, hopefully Kingdom Hearts 3 will be on there. You know, Square Enix is a partner, they're supporting the Nintendo Switch, so I'm just hoping, crossing my fingers, that that does become a thing. What else? We got Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite. Oh man, I love Marvel vs. Capcom 3. I'm a casual player, I ain't hardcore, I don't have the little joystick arcade thing or whatever, nothing like that. Simple, casual player but we got Mega Man X and A. I'm hoping my boy Dante comes back. Beautiful Joe. Really looking forward to that. We also have Injustice Gods Among Us 2. Another game that I'm super hyped for. Uh, you know, as long as you bring back my boy Captain Marvel Shazam, whichever way you want to call him, Shazam! I just, please bring him back and I will be a-okay with that. So what other video games we got? Of course, uh, Kingdom Hearts! Kingdom Hearts uh, 2.8 Final Chapter Prologue is coming out January 24th. We would have had it already, but of course it got delayed. So that I'm really that, that's my most hyped about thing about 2017. Kingdom Hearts 2.8 Final Chapter Prologue, and then later 
I think in March or something, two, two months later, we're getting Kingdom Hearts 1.5 plus 2.5 HD remakes, all for the PlayStation 4. So basically, all the games in one beautiful disc for the PlayStation 4 running at 60 frames per second. It's going to be awesome. So if you got a PS4, you're all set. You know, buy 1.5 plus 2.5 and buy Kingdom Hearts 2.8 and you're all ready for 3. Man, I'm super, super excited for that. I can't wait for that thing to come out. What else we got for video games? What else we got? Uh, actually, I think that's it as far as video games. Actually, no, Horizon. Uh, the one with the girl and the mechanical uh, things going out about there um, in the forest or whatever. I'm looking forward to that. You know, more Lego Dimension figures. I'm looking forward to that as well. Honestly, I'm more excited about the Powerpuff Girls than anybody else. Yes, yes, the Powerpuff Girls. Hey, that was okay to watch back in the day, even if you were a dude. So I'm excited for that. Uh, now we have to, what else do we got to talk about? Okay, we covered movies, and we covered video games. Uh, let's see. Uh, oh yeah, you know, speaking of Kingdom Hearts, I can't believe I almost forgot about this. 2017, 2017 is gonna be our year. Tensei Nomura has stated, has confirmed that, you know, he's got a lot of surprises, a lot of plans for us for 2017, because he's already stated, once Kingdom Hearts 2.8 is out of the way, it's all about Kingdom Hearts 3. We're gonna get some new News, some information, hopefully some new trailers. 2017 is a big deal because it is the 15th anniversary of Kingdom Hearts. So, oh man, do I want Kingdom Hearts 3 to come out? Come out 2017? Of course, absolutely. Who wouldn't? But I'm not putting my money on the table saying that it is because with Square Enix, I don't know. They're delaying this game as much as possible. Not that it's ever been. I can't say it's been delayed, but you know they're pushing it back as much as possible. So I don't know. If it comes out 2017, that'd be great. Hopefully, at least a release date for 2017 since the 15th anniversary you know at least give me that I'd be I'm perfectly good with that so boom we also something about Kingdom Hearts I'm really looking forward to that it's already out in Japan and you can buy a place like amiami.com but the Kingdom Hearts 3 Play Arts Kai Sora figure that I pre-ordered from the Square Enix website is supposed to release sometime at the end of January so probably around the same time of release as Kingdom Hearts 2.8 I'm really looking excited for that figure there's gonna be a ton of new other figures coming out as well the SH figure arts uh, Chewbacca Han Solo, uh, Leafa, Satan Man, uh, Sa Saitama, oh my god, there's so many cool uh, new figures coming out as well that I'm really looking forward to. And now let's talk about some anime news, for example. There's some pretty cool and exciting anime stuff happening. You know, uh, more Dragon Ball Z Supers coming out. Sword Art Online Ordinal Scale is the brand new movie for Sword Art Online. Once they do that, then we're going to get the whole like season, uh, the next season of Sword Art Online. I'm really looking forward to the movie. It looks pretty darn awesome. I just hope, I hope it does well. You know, it's going to get hyped because of Sword Art Online. But still, I need to do pretty darn good. I'm hoping it does good. Uh, There's also going to be, what else for anime? Oh, the Yu-Gi-Oh! movie. Yu-Gi-Oh! Dark Side of the Dimensions, I think it's what it's called. But it's a brand new Yu-Gi-Oh! movie coming out to selected theaters. It's going to have a lot of the original English cast in it. And that is something I'm really hyped for, really excited for to see as well. And I think I think that covers it. That's mainly what I'm excited about for 2017. Oh, man. It's going gonna, it's gonna to be a fun year. Hopefully, it does a lot better than 2016. 2016... It was okay, but actually for me personally 2016 was kind of a Successful because I finally reached a thousand subscribers thanks to you guys that have been following me and all that stuff Aw, you're the best pal <laughs> So thank you very much for following me and sticking around with my channel uh, You know, hopefully better things will come 2017, you know, a higher goal and everything like that. But I think that's it, guys. That's it for my list that I'm most excited for for 2017. So, guys, what I want to know in the comment section below is what are you most excited about for 2017? Did you have a good 2016? Leave all your comments in the comment section below. And if you like the video, you know, make sure to give it a big thumbs up as that really helps me out. And until next time, guys, I'm going to say bye, pal. I'll see you all real soon. <laughs>